Section 3 of A Traveller's Narrative Written to Illustrate the Episode of the Bob. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. A Traveller's Narrative Written to Illustrate the Episode of the Bob by abdul baha abbas translated by edward granville brown section three when the bob reached tabriz they brought him after some days before the government tribunal of the learned doctors the nizamul ulama mulla muhammad mamaqani mirza ahmad the imam jum'e mirza ali asqar the sheikh al islam and several other divines were present they asked concerning the claims of the bab he advanced the claim of mahdihood whereon a mighty tumult arose eminent doctors in overwhelming might compassed him on all sides and such was the onset of orthodoxy that it had been no great wonder if a mere youth had not withstood the mountain of el burz they demanded proof without hesitation he recited texts saying quote, this is the permanent and most mighty proof End quote. they criticized his grammar he adduced arguments from the Qur'an, setting forth therefrom instances of similar infractions of the rules of grammar. So the assembly broke up, and the Bab returned to his own dwelling. The heaven-cradled crown prince was at that time governor of Azerbaijan. He pronounced no sentence with regard to the Bab, nor did he desire to interfere with him. The doctors, however, considered it advisable at least to inflict a severe chastisement, and beating was decided upon. But none of the corps of Farrashes would agree to become the instruments of the infliction of this punishment. So Mirza Ali Asqar, the Sheikh al Islam, who was one of the noble Sayyids, brought him to his own house and applied the rods with his own hand. After this, they sent the Bab back to Chehriq and subjected him to a strict confinement. Now, when the news of this beating, chastisement, imprisonment, and rigor reached all parts of Persia, learned divines and esteemed lawyers, who were possessed of power and influence, girt up the loins of endeavor for the eradication and suppression of this sect, exerting their utmost efforts therefore and they wrote notice of their decision to wit quote, that this person and his followers are in absolute error and are hurtful to church and state End quote. and since the governors in persia enjoyed the fullest authority in some provinces they followed this decision and united in uprooting and dispersing the bobbies but the late king muhammad shah acted with deliberation in this matter reflecting quote, this youth is of the pure lineage and of the family of him addressed with were it not for thee so long as no offensive actions which are incompatible with the public peace and well-being proceed from him the government should not interfere with him End quote. and whenever the learned doctors appealed to him from the surrounding districts he either gave no answer or else commanded them to act with deliberation notwithstanding this between eminent doctors and illustrious scholars and those learned persons who were followers of the bab opposition 
discussion and strife did so increase that in some provinces they desired to resort to mutual imprecation and for the governors of the provinces too a means of acquiring gain was produced so that great tumult and disturbance arose and since the malady of the gout had violently attacked the king's foot and occupied his world-ordering thought the good judgment of the chief minister the famous haji mirza algalsi became the pivot of the conduct of affairs and his incapacity and lack of resource became apparent as the sun for every hour he formed a new opinion and gave a new order at one moment he would seek to support the decision of the doctors accounting the eradication and suppression of the bobbies as necessary at another time he would charge the doctors with aggressiveness regarding undue interference as contrary to justice at another time he would become a mystic and say quote, all these voices are from the king end quote or repeat with his tongue quote, moses is at war with moses end quote, or recite quote, this is naught but thy trial end quote. in short this changeable minister by reason of his mismanagement of important matters and failure to control and order the affairs of the community so acted that disturbance and clamour arose from all quarters and directions the most notable and influential of the doctors ordered the common folk to molest the followers of the bob and a general onslaught took place more especially when the claim of Mahdihud reached the hearing of eminent divines and profound doctors, they began to make lamentation and to cry and complain from their pulpits, saying, quote, One of the essentials of religion and of the authentic traditions transmitted from the holy imams, nay, the chief basis of the foundations of the church of his highness jafar is the occultation of the immaculate twelfth imam upon both of them be peace what has happened to jabul qaw where has jabul saw gone what was the minor occultation what has become of the major occultation what are the sayings of hussein ibn ruh and what the tradition of ibn mehriar what shall we make of the flight of the guardians and the helpers how shall we deal with the conquest of the east and the west where is the ass of antichrist when will the appearance of the sofyan be where are the signs which are in the traditions of the holy family where is that whereon the victorious church is agreed the matter is not outside one of two alternatives either we must repudiate the traditions of the holy imams grow wearied of the church of jafar and account the clear indications of the imam as disturbed dreams or in accordance with the primary and subsidiary doctrines of the faith and the essential and explicit declarations of the most luminous law we must consider the repudiation nay the destruction of this person as our chief duty if so be that we shut our eyes to these authentic traditions and obvious doctrines universally admitted no remnant will endure of the fundamental basis of the church of the immaculate imam we shall neither be sunnites nor shall we be the prevalent sect to continue awaiting the promised saint and believing in the begotten mahdi otherwise we must regard as admissible the opening of the gate of saintship and consider that he who is to arise of the family of muhammad possesses two signs 
the first condition holy lineage the second that he is divinely fortified with brilliant verses what can we do with these thousand-year-old beliefs of the delivered band of shiites or what shall we say concerning their profound doctrines and pre-eminent divines were all these in error did they journey in the veil of transgression what an evidently false assertion is this by god this is a thing to break the back o oh, people extinguish this fire and forget these words alas woe to our faith woe to our law End quote. thus did they make complaint in mosques and chapels in pulpits and congregations but the bobby chiefs composed treatises against them and set in order replies according to their own thought were these to be discussed in detail it would conduce to prolixity and our object is the statement of history not of arguments for believing or rejecting but of some of the replies the gist is this that they held the proof as supreme and the evidence as outweighing traditions considering the former as the root and the latter as the branch and saying quote, if the branch agree not with the root it serves not as argument and is unworthy of reliance for the reported consequence has no right to oppose itself to the established principle and cannot argue against it End quote indeed in such cases they regarded interpretation as the truth of revelation and the essence of true exegesis thus for instance they interpreted the sovereignty of the qa'im as a mystical sovereignty and his conquests as conquests of the cities of hearts adducing in support of this the meekness and defeat of the chief of martyrs may the life of all being be a sacrifice for him for he was the true manifestation of the blessed verse quote, and verily our host shall overcome for them End quote. note quran thirty seven one seventy three End note. yet notwithstanding this he quaffed the cup of martyrdom with perfect meekness and at the very moment of uttermost defeat triumphed over his enemies and became the most mighty of the troops of the supreme host similarly they regarded the numerous writings which in spite of his lack of education the bob had composed as due to the promptings of the holy spirit extracted from books contrary sayings handed down by men of mark adduced traditions apparently agreeing with their objects and clung to the announcements of certain notables of yore they also considered the conversion of austere and recluse doctors and eminent votaries of the perspicuous religion of islam as a valid proof deemed the steadfastness and constancy of the bob a most mighty sign and related miracles and the like which things being altogether foreign to our purpose we have passed by with brevity and will now proceed with our original object end of section three